Welcome to the Wednesday edition of These Things Are Written. We wrap up Acts chapter 4. Leading up to this, the man who had been born lame was healed. Peter and John were told not to speak. They said they would continue to speak. And yesterday, a prayer asking the Lord for boldness was prayed by the leaders of the church. We continue with verse 32. Now the full number of those who believed were of one heart and soul. And no one said that any of the things that belonged to him was his own, but they had everything in common. And a great power, and with great power, the apostles were giving their testimony to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus, and great grace was upon them all. And there was not a needy person among them, for as many as were owners of lands or houses sold them, and brought the proceeds of what was sold and laid it at the apostles' feet, and it was distributed to each as any had need. Thus Joseph, who was also called by the apostles Barnabas, which means son of encouragement, was a Levite, a native of Cyprus, and he sold a field that belonged to him, and brought the money and laid it at the feet of the apostles. This is the word of the Lord. It begins showing that the number of those who, who believed, it says, were of one heart and one soul. There was a great unity among the early church. And there was a great generosity that, that came out of that unity. They said that all had what was in common. There was no one who had any need. Now, remember, as we look at this, this is descriptive. It is not prescriptive. It is describing what was happening in the early church. It is not prescribing what we as Christians must do. We are certainly called to be generous, but we're not called to sell everything, to give it to the church so that others can, can be provided for. Generosity is great. Helping provide the needs of others is an amazing thing. In fact, I think that's one of those things that the church has lost. We have relegated that to the government to care for other people. But that's another topic. I'll get back to the text. There was generosity and unity of heart. And at the very center was the word of God. They were preaching with power about the resurrection of Jesus Christ, the one who died and rose again to give people life. And it said that there was a great grace upon them. No one had any needs because they were cared for by one another. Isn't that an amazing picture of the church? Isn't that what we as a church should be about? caring for one another and loving one another in that way. Then it goes into a, a short story about a man named Joseph. Joseph, and it says that he was called by the apostles Barnabas. Barnabas means son of encouragement. I'm guessing that Barnabas was a man full of encouragement, always building people up, especially the apostles, letting them know that the work that they were doing was so important, that they were doing a good job, always that ray of sunshine that came into people's lives right when they needed it the most. He was an example of generosity. Through part of his encouragement was, was supporting the early church. He sold a field that belonged to him, brought the money and laid it at the apostles' feet. This, this man, Barnabas, would be one who would, God would later use to bring Saul or, after his conversion, Paul, to the apostles and to speak up for him and to encourage him. It was Barnabas who went with Saul, Paul, on his first missionary journey. May we all be a Barnabas. May we all be daughters and sons of encouragement, encouraging others through our words, through our gifts, through all that we are and all that we do. May God grant this to you and to me by the encouragement that comes to us through Christ Jesus, our Lord. Amen. Go now in peace. Amen.